Now, though, we have a very, very special award ceremony uh, to conclude our conference for the Oscar Fisher Prize. One of our valued TAMIS members, Dr. James Truchard of National Instruments, created this awards program in 2019 to expand the understanding and explana explanation of Alzheimer's disease. After the ceremony, all of you are invited to stay for a networking hour in the foyer uh, presented by the Oscar Fisher Prize. We'll have an hour to mingle and meet the new prize recipients. I'm now pleased to introduce Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson to begin our ceremony. Senator Hutchinson. David. Well, first of all, thank you, David, and Nancy Dickey, and everyone for the great program. It was so wonderful for me, having been in Brussels for three and a half years, to be able to come in person and have everybody here. And I love the electricity in the room. So it's been a wonderful conference. And David, thank you, and Nancy, and all of you. Um, now, I am here because Dr. Jim Truchard is an incredible entrepreneur, scientist, and person who's always thinking of what can be done, what can be done better, what do we need to have done. And of course, if there is, a, probably if you took a poll in America, what is the most important issue to you personally for you and your family? There'd be a lot of answers, but Alzheimer's would probably be right at the top. Because everybody worries about if it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and what you do if it happens. And um, with all of the emphasis that has been put on Alzheimer's, we still don't have the answers. So Dr. Truchard uh, chose, really, Tamist to talk about what he wanted to do to add to uh, our information about this dreaded disease. And he, he did that at the 2019 TAMIST meeting, announced that he was going to give an award for um, different ways of looking at Alzheimer's. And he then started developing this award through the years and reached out to UT San Antonio and asked them to take the reins to coordinate all of the gathering of information, putting it together, putting together a panel to uh, determine what were the best ideas for this award and working through COVID as well. And, um, and so I think it is wonderful that here at the TAMIS meeting in San Antonio, with UT San Antonio in the lead, um, that we are going to see uh, what has happened since 2019 and to go forward. Um, certainly, I think uh, they will tell you, certainly Dr. Truchard will tell you that, that Oscar Fisher, on um, the reason it's named for Oscar Fisher, because I wondered, um, you know, was he some great Texas uh, Nobel laureate? Well, no. Um, he uh, lived from 1876 to 1942, but apparently um, he was a contemporary of Alzheimer, and he started working on this issue and actually uh, was persecuted in the Holocaust and um, his life was cut short. So I think uh, it's a wonderful thing that Dr. Trichard is naming this award uh, for someone who actually died trying to bring it forward because um, in the later years, uh, I guess it was 2008, they went back and looked at the research that uh, Dr. Fisher had done and it was quite relevant. So I think it's, it's amazing and I think it is wonderful that Tama started this, that UT San Antonio has adopted it and now uh, brought it full circle. And I hope that we will hear from the wonderful Dr. Trichard about this. And so I'm going to introduce the uh, president of UT San Antonio, uh, who has put all of this together. And with that, 
I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a special day for sure. <clears throat> Senator Hutchison, thank you so much for your, your introduction and support. Um, I had the great pleasure of meeting the Senator in my first tour of duty of Texas when I was the Vice President for Research at Texas Tech, and this was in, um, I arrived in Lubbock in 09, and, and you may recall at that time that the National Academies had come out with this whole notion about the science enterprise in the United States and the investments that were needed to keep it as the, the best enterprise globally, and <clears throat> um, uh, it really called for massive investment in the National Science Foundation, NIH, and a few other science agencies, and that was published in about 2005, and Congress took it up. You may recall that eventually the America Competes Act was passed, and it would not have passed without Senator Hutchinson's role. She was an authorizer on commerce, justice, science, and she was an appropriator on the Senate side, and it took, it was, it was supported broadly across Congress, but it took her leadership and, and the leadership of her colleagues to carry that ball across the line. Sorry, there's a Texas metaphor there, but, uh, so Senator, thank you for all that you do. You've been a huge champion for higher education, for innovation, for brain health research, and we just appreciate your advocacy of the national research enterprise, and we want you to continue to advocate for us. And TAMIST is also something of great importance to you and your vision for it. So uh, keep us honest, and, and uh, we appreciate you more than you know. So I'm Taylor Amy. I'm the president at the University of Texas at San Antonio. I have the best job in the world, and I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the 10 winners of the Oscar Fisher Prize. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the TAMIS 2022 annual conference team, those individuals that David has commandeered for the last two and a half years, for hosting this year's program. Thank you all, that you, thank you for all that you do for Texas to build a vibrant, healthy community for tomorrow, especially relying on the power of science and discovery. I really want to thank Dr. James Jim Trichard, whose $5 million gift to UTSA's College of Science has made the Oscar Fisher Prize and today's event a reality. You heard the Senator talk about the fact that Jim came here in 2019 and talked about doing this, and we've worked with him over the last three years during the pandemic to come to this moment in time of celebrating science and discovery. And I have to say that um, I've had a chance to spend some time with Jim, more of it on the phone than in person, as you might imagine, but I've never met someone who has more intellectual curiosity than Jim. You can talk to him about any number of topics. I spent a lot of time with him talking about nuclear energy, and I've, I have this impression that his, his office at home has more journal articles and journals and compendiums of things that he cares about that he pays attention to. I think he just has a massive amount of information in his office at home, and he's consumed it all. And I have never met someone who has greater intellectual curiosity than Jim. So it's been a pleasure for me to be involved in this process. Um, and it's very rare that someone's personal wealth is used to tackle an intractable problem like Alzheimer's and to want to, in some ways, address the record of recognizing the role that Oscar Fisher had in, in understanding this horrible disease. So, in many ways, Jim's generosity is profoundly uh, amplified by his curiosity and his sense of how the universe should be structured. Last but not least, I want to extend a warm welcome to all 10 of the Oscar Fisher Prize winners who are here with us. They've traveled from around the globe to be with us today, and you're going to get to meet them in a minute. We received many submissions from around the world illustrating the incredible breadth of Alzheimer's disease research. <clears throat> As our gold, silver, and bronze prize winners, your significant research contributions are taking a new systems approach to tackling Alzheimer's, building on the work of Oscar Fisher, which started over a century ago. 
We are incredibly proud of each of you. Congratulations, keep going. And I know there's a symposium tomorrow that you're gonna be engaged in and talking with each other about. We want this to be a very ripe environment for collaboration going forward. At UTSA, we're committed to new knowledge creation and advancing research excellence. The Oscar Fisher Prize is just one of the many ways our university seeks to create innovative solutions to society's grandest challenges. With that, I really want to kick off our medal ceremony, and I'm going to do that by giving a, a bit of an introduction to both Jim and to Dr. Jenny Shea, as I'll introduce shortly. As I mentioned, Dr. Truchard is a true champion of science. He co-founded National Instruments in 1976, and as president and CEO, he pioneered the way scientists and engineers solve the world's grand engineering challenges. Named one of Forbes America's favorite bosses, that's a special matter for sure, Dr. Truchard has led the company from a three-man team to a multinational organization recognized as a Fortune 100 best place to work. Thanks to the incredible generosity of Dr. Truchard, the Oscar Fisher Prize has provided each of our prize winners the opportunity to further their research on brain health and Alzheimer's, creating new solutions to address the disease that affects so many. Thank you again, Jim, for all that you do. Dr. Jenny Shea is UTSA's Professor and Department Chair of Neuroscience, Developmental and Regenerative Biology. She's the SEMS Foundation Distinguished Chair in Cell Biology and the founding director of UTSA's Brain Health Consortium. And I'm proud to say, in the spirit of the conversations we've had today, that she was a very important strategic hire for us, just like a and for us, and we spirited her way, we spirited her away from another institution in Texas to come do brain health research with us at UTSA. So the system works at UTSA as well. <coughs> um, Dr. Shea is a, Jenny, I'm sorry, I had to ad lib on that, but you understand. G Dr. Shea is a leading researcher in the area of stem cells, neurogenesis, and epilepsy. Her work on neuronal differentiation and multipotent adult neural progenitor cells is especially highly regarded. Her leadership at UTSA, specifically with UTSA's Brain Health Consortium, has produced a greater understanding of the brain's complexity and the factors that cause its decline. Under her great leadership, knowledge creation will be used to develop new and more effective methods for treating debilitating conditions like Alzheimer's. So without further ado, I'd like to have us all give a warm welcome and invite up to the, the podium, Dr. Jim Truchard and Dr. Jenny Shea. Jim, Jenny, come on up. Thank you, Dr. Amy, for those very fine words. So first off, you may have seen the rolling slide that was going through where we had Oscar Fisher's image done in 1907, and Dr. Nixon, one of the winners of the award, gold award winners, uh, just reproduced for the first time in history June 2nd of this year. So just a state of the art in terms of Alzheimer's research and a perspective to look at it. Uh, first off, uh, uh, it's good to be here in Tamas Live, and Tamas is such an incredible part of uh, what uh, uh, Texas is about in science and technology and medicine, so it's uh, good to be here to learn the latest. I was really impressed by Dr. Jenkins' uh, idea about bringing in the best uh, folks from around the globe. I think that's a very important thing to do, to get some new blood to talk about uh, big things and make them happen. So congratulations on a good job there. So uh, as San Antonio is a key hub for neuroscience and doing some incredible world-class work. So it's good to be here. To, and I'd like to talk, thank Dr. Amy uh, and David Silva and Jenny Hesch 
Taylor Bird, and especially Roxana who, Richardson, who's uh, been with us all the way, uh, hustling in those uh, potential uh, award winners to write up their story. So it's, it's really been a good process in, the, in, the, in the, its time. Uh, so uh, we're basically working to unravel the mysteries of Alzheimer's uh, with our Oscar Fisher Prize uh, because we can see that it's a very serious problem that we can all relate to very much. I talk to almost anybody and they'll say, I know somebody, my mother, my father, my brother, my sister. So I'd like to thank as well the Advisory Council for their uh, important work to set a framework that uh, would work, the Advisory Committee, and then the jurist who had the incredible task of evaluating 150 entries from all over the world. Uh, I know that it was quite an arduous task, took some time to do, and it, but it was very important that we vet and bring the best ideas to the top. Um, Oscar Fisher uh, uh, did his work in, at the beginning of the 20th century, and that was a really exciting time. Lot, uh, there was a transformation in science taking place. First off, the, the, the moniker scientists had only been created 50 years earlier. Before you, that, you were a natural philosopher. So we could see a real trend was taking place with the atom, electricity, all these things where we had a whole new way of dealing with uh, science and Oscar Fisher was a leader in that parade. So Oscar Fisher went to work for Arnold Pick. And Arnold Pick is known for uh, his work on Pick's degree disease. He was one of the early uh, dementia researchers doing very outstanding work. He also worked on aphasia. His work has stood the test of time. Um, and so he was a very good mentor to Oscar Fisher. So uh, Oscar's work was published first in 1907 with detailed drawings of the plaques he was talking about. He did a two, uh, two additional papers uh, where he had studied literally hundreds of brains. Now he had a big advantage in that he was doing a clinical observation and he was turning it around able to look at the brains directly. So he did very, very fine detailed work which was, has st stood the test of time. Um, but his work was lost. Basically, uh, for a combination of reasons, World War I, uh, the fact that there was another institution in Munich uh, headed up by Emil uh, Kreplin, which was effectively a competitor. Uh, and when Alzheimer had this one patient, uh, uh, Emil Kreplin named the disease Alzheimer's disease, despite the fact that Oscar Fischer had examined hundreds of patients with great details. Alzheimer's paper was two pages long. So it wasn't until 1976 that uh, it was realized there was something wrong with the field of dementia. The Alzheimer's patient would have been an early onset case, and so, uh, uh, it didn't seem that important at that time, so no real research got done. But it was at that point they recognized, wait a minute, something's wrong. We got too many patients here. So, and then in 2009, as uh, Jay Bailey mentioned, uh, uh, it, uh, Oscar Fisher was rediscovered. And when I started looking at Alzheimer's research, uh, I picked up on that because I felt it was a way to sort of change the dialogue about how we're do, doing the Alzheimer's uh, research, and also to recognize Oscar Fisher's work. Uh, we want this prize to be a turning point in our work in dementia uh, and in uh, Alzheimer's disease. Our 10 winners each had a different explanation for Alzheimer's. They're almost mutually exclusive. 
That tells you something about the state of the art of the research, where everybody has a different idea. It reminds me of the old story about the elephant and the blind folks that were trying to describe what an elephant is. Uh, so we basically need a new, more system-oriented way to look at Alzheimer's. Bring these 10 ideas together. So that's my goal going forward, to bring these ideas together to make it one story which integrates all those uh, particular points. And I would like to, again, thank the whole team uh, for making this possible the incredible amount of work that had, be, uh, had to be done to review all of those uh, 150 papers. You all, if you review papers, you know it's a lot of work. And some of them were quite dense in their technology with lots of acronyms. So it was a really big job. So thanks again for that great work. Thank you, Jim. It has been truly a pleasure on behalf of the Oscar Fisher Prize Competition Administrative Team and UTSA to be able to execute and bring to fruition your wonderful and innovative idea. This Oscar Fisher Prize is so unique in its concept. It is not a lifetime research achievement award. It is not a grant proposal. In fact, when we first were presented with this challenge, all of us looked at each other and we thought we need to really think about this and assemble the smartest thought leaders and community stakeholders and scientists, both in and outside the field of Alzheimer's disease, to come advise us and to make sure we're, we do this right and we bring to fruition your idea. And so we're very, very proud to be able to come to this time point, the finale of the Oscar Fisher Prize, and be able to present the awards to our gold and our silver and our bronze medalists. Thank you very much, Jim. And to all the Oscar Fisher Prize winners, congratulations. Okay, so before we begin the medal presentation, I have some basic housekeeping to go over. Please hold your applause until each of the prize recipients from the group has come up to the stage. And the winners, I'm going to call you up as a, as a group in terms of the bronze first, then the silver, and then the gold. And when you all come up here, I will read your name to receive your medal. Please remain on stage until all of the recipients in your group has come up and then Jim will hand you your medals, and then there will be a film crew and photographer recording to capture the medal presentation. And once all of the medal members of your group has come up to the stage, please remain for the group picture, and then please return to your seats. Okay, so without further ado, I am pleased to introduce the Bronze Oscar Fisher Prize winners, Dr. Annalise Barron, Dr. Gunnar Goras, Dr. Varghese John, and Dr. Russell Swardlow. Congratulations. Please join me in giving the bronze winner winners a round of applause. Congratulations.
Thank you. Okay, now I am pleased to introduce the silver Oscar Fisher Prize winners. Dr. Bernd Moosman and Dr. Donald Weaver. Please join me in giving the silver winners a round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> and finally, I am pleased to introduce the gold Oscar Fisher Prize winners. Dr. Carlo Abate. Dr. Estella Aria Gomez. Dr. Bess Frost. <laughs> and Dr. Ralph Nixon. Please join me in giving the gold winners a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us in this exciting and momentous occasion. We encourage you to continue the, the celebration in the foyer outside this room to interact with the prize winners and enjoy some food and drinks. Thank you again to Dr. Truchard for your incredible vision and to Dr. Amy for helping us recognize the research excellence and innovation represented across the winning ideas. Congratulations to all the winners. We look forward to continuing the scientific discourse to solve Alzheimer's disease and this amazing puzzle.